there's three stages to doing this and what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with just your regular um, kitchen surface cleaner I've got a SIF one here then um, to restore the steel finish and kind of bring out any stains we're going to be using the bar keepers frame and then to uh, finish it off we're going to use uh, the peak polish on your chrome um, surface and uh, yeah should work really well so I just come around we're gonna what we do is we just clear the area a bit get all of this off okay so um, yep yeah, let's go so we just we're gonna spray it quite liberally over everything and what this is going to do is going to remove any grease and you know or any oils and it's also going to help to remove some of the lime scale okay and while that's working because you've, you've got to give it a little bit of time just to uh, work its way into the grease and, and grind so we're just going to run the tap Run the tap a bit, get that water good and hot because the heat in the water accelerates the reaction of the cleaning products and helps to clean it. Just grab that go, nice and hot now. Okay, so let's just have another quick spray. So this is, is a very um, almost intense clean, so you wouldn't need to do this every day, maybe once every two weeks, just to get rid of all of the really entrenched grime and dirt and stains. So we'll get one a little bit. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna wipe and pull away, and you can see all the dirt comes off. You can see all of the dirt. Okay. That's good. Maybe it's not the best idea to wear a double cuff shirt when doing this, but
So, I mean, it's looking better already, but there's a lot of stains, as you can see on the bottom. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use the barkeeper's friend to remove it. The barkeeper's friend is non-bleaching, so it's good in that regard. And this is the original one. It comes as a powder. We just break it up. What we want to do is we want to just pour, just pour it in a little bit, and we're going to make it into a paste. So we're not going to use it on the chrome because it can scuff, even though it should be okay. It's better safe than sorry. Okay, I'm just going to get a bit, a bit of water. Let's see. Come round to the other side. So the barkeeper's thread will clean uh, the surface as well as remove the stain, help to remove or remove stains. If we feel we need to use a bit more, we can always do that. I'm going to take this out, I'm going to liberally apply it, apply it around it. Agitating it. There we go. So any uh, tough stains that don't seem to be coming out, you just agitate it and rub it in. As you can see, it picks up all the dirt. And we can go over it with a scouring pad if we need to, but I don't think that will be necessary here. Yeah. So I've deliberately left this to get really grubby. Yes, I can show how effective the cleaner is. Okay. Um, right. So the camera stopped recording halfway through. I didn't realise I elapsed the time limit. Basically, what we're doing now is we're just rinsing off all of the barkeeper's friend and nicely I'm just going to turn down also don't splash too much essentially all we're doing 
is we're just going to wipe it all down and just let it all rinse off. You can see, hopefully, you can see that it's a nice, clean, much cleaner, more reflective surface now. Does look better, doesn't it? So, what we're going to do now is with a tea towel, just give that a minute, is I'm just going to remove any excess water, just so you can see the difference before and after properly. And then we're just going to use a bit of peak polish to clean up the tap, get it looking really uh, shiny. Shiny and chrome. So I just you can see it's looking much better. So I wouldn't normally do this, but it's just for the demonstration. Just get the excess water. So I mean, it doesn't, the tap doesn't look too bad as it is already, but we'll just give it that extra spruce up. the peak polish that's it over the container what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nice not, not that nice we're gonna get a, a clean bit of cloth and we're just gonna apply that on there and this is very good cleaner um, it works really well on brass um, it's for all metals really so you could even use it on here because we've used the barkeeper's friend, it's not really necessary. So we'll just spread that over a bit. We're just going to apply that on here. We don't need to run the tap. All we're going to do is just get on. Oh, and we'll also do this bit here as well. So. few seconds to work its way in so I'll just do that and then when we wipe away you always want to oh, maybe like that. always want to fold over and just have a nice a, a, a cleaner bit of cloth to avoid. Okay. 
Das Messe. Underneath, that's what it bit that you seem to miss. But unfortunately, we spilled some water up here, but hey, there you go. If you get it with your finger, you can see it comes out a lot better. Really bothered doing the underside, but that's good. And that's pretty much it. Just for vanity, what we'll do is we're going to have a quick go on this bit of stainless steel here. Okay, let's pop that on there. So you rub it in. You can see how effective it is. Look at that. Then we just fold over the cloth. Just always be folded. Lovely. So that's all good. Um, yeah. You can get quite pedantic about this, can't you? But a good artist knows when to stop. There we go, that's all good. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please like it. Uh, if you want to watch some more, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or or anything that you um, any feedback you want to give, please just leave a comment below. And thank you very much.